Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add place marks to the new version of Google Earth. The web version of Google Earth was recently updated, and so I'm making a new series of videos all about how to use it, including how to add a place mark to it. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm signed in to my Google account. I'm looking at Google Earth in my web browser and I want to add a place mark. There's a couple of ways I can go about starting this process. Number one, I can go up here to add and then select place mark and then just try to drop the marker on the map. Now, if I have a pretty good sense of where I want to go, that will work out just fine. Now, alternatively, I can do a search for a place. Let's say I want to go to Rangeley, Maine. There it is. And that gets me a little bit closer to where I want to go. Now, I want to add my place mark so that it's right over Main Street, right downtown. And so now, that I've gotten a little bit closer, I'm now going to go back in and add place mark. And I'm going to click right here on the map, right on Main Street. And now I'm going to be asked, where do I want to save this place mark? Do I want to save it to Google Drive or do I want to save it locally as a KML file? For most people watching this video, Saving it to a Google Drive project is the best option so that you can access it on any computer at any time. So I'm going to create a Drive project and I'm going to call this project Places to See in Maine. I can write in my description now or go back and write it later. For now, I'm going to leave it blank. And now I'm going to give my place mark a title. I'm going to call it Main Street, Rangeley, Maine. And I'm going to put in a description and write something like when you are in Rangeley you are exactly halfway between the equator and the North Pole. Stop by the sign to confirm this. Now, I'm going to add a picture of the sign that is posted in Range of Maine about this very fact. So let's go and add media. I'm going to upload an image in this case. I have an image that I took when I was in Rangeley. And I have that picture on my desktop, and there it is. And I'm now going to add that into the place mark. Now, a couple of other things I want to point out. I can also add in videos. So if I want to add in a video, an easy way to do this is to say, hey, while you're in Rangeley, take a canoeing trip with my pals from Rangeley Adventure Company. Watch this. To learn more and I'm just gonna to go to YouTube and I have this video from Rangeley Adventure Company about small stream canoeing and I'm gonna say watch this video I'm just gonna highlight that I'm gonna add in this link link to the URL there we go click OK and there it is now it's hyperlinked so that my description has that hyperlink in it now again, if I want to add media, I can add a 
video URL. I can put that URL there, and that way the video becomes a part of the displayed placemark and isn't just a link in the description. Now I'll point out a couple other things here. I can change out this icon and use all kinds of different icons that Google provides. Let's say I want to have maybe this uh, nice tree icon. And I can change the color of that tree icon. Let's make it green. Make a tree. And let's make it large. Or perhaps even extra large as an icon for my placemark. And now it's automatically saved because I'm saving it to my Google Drive. So again, there's my new placemark. And when I click on it, whether I click on it here on the left-hand side or I click on it by clicking on the icon itself, it brings up that picture, brings up my description, brings up the location, and if I toggle through here in just a moment, that video is going to load and I can play back that video or I can just go here and watch that video. Now you'll notice if you're looking at my location, it says 44 degrees 57 not quite at 45 north, so I still need to move my place mark around just a little bit until I'm truly at 45 north. And doing that is simple. I can just go here, click my edit button, and let's move and drag this just a little bit so that we're updating the latitude of my place marker. So that's how you can add placemarks to the new version of Google Earth. As always, for more things like this, including a lot other Google Maps and Google Earth tutorials, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.